Welcome. In today's video, I'll go through my experience in running the Match X M2 Pro Miner and whether it is worth the purchase. I'll leave any relevant links in the description below. I have been running the M2 Pro for approximately 3 weeks now. I will go through the pros and doubts of running the Miner. Let's start with the pros. Number 1. Connectivity. The M2 Pro does not require to be in close proximity to any other miners nearby to earn rewards. It is based on power over Ethernet, so you can connect the miner to the power unit and either run an Ethernet cable to your modem or connect it via Wi-Fi. This means you can mine from literally anywhere in the world, as long as you have an internet connection. I am currently based in a country where I am the only miner and I am still able to earn a stable amount of MXC per day. Number 2. Earnings. Once the miner is active, the rewards are fairly consistent, earning around $12 a day based on MXC's price at the time of this video. This is a more neutral approach to distributing tokens, as miners are not penalized based on location or connectivity with other miners, and more focus is towards proof of participation, meaning the device simply requires to be live on the network. Number 3. Mining multiple tokens. The miner currently mines MXC token, however the DICE Kaiser project had successfully been tested for the M2 Pro to mine Bitcoin. If you know what it takes to mine Bitcoin, usually it is loud and costly. This is a low power device that hardly consumes any energy, doesn't make a sound and requires a standard power socket to plug into. Any other tokens mined will be an extra source of income on top of the MXC tokens. The team are working towards expanding the mining capabilities to also mine Polkadot. Number 4. Placement. The M2 Pro is designed for extremely harsh conditions from minus 40 degrees up to 80 degrees Celsius. This means you can place the miner literally anywhere inside or outside of your home. A good tip to follow is to have it standing upright and placed as high as possible. Number 5. Multiple Miners The network will allow you to operate more than one miner in the same home. The team have mentioned that a suitable distance of 50 meters is required for optimum rewards if running more than 5 miners within one location. As MXC runs on its own network, these devices can be placed within the same home you run a helium miner and there will be no issue running them in parallel. So the doubts. Number 1. Price Let's be honest, it is a pricey product compared to other IoT miners. However, in comparison to normal mining rigs, it is less expensive and you do not require the technical know-how to set up the M2 Pro. It is simple as plug and mine. I personally wouldn't go and spend all my savings on a miner. However, if you are looking to expand your portfolio, I see the project more of a reinvestment into another source of income stream. Number 2. Miner Fuel Health if you are not familiar with miner fuel, it basically means if you cash out your tokens from your data dash wallet, you will start mining half of what you earn on a daily basis. However, this is only temporary as the miner health rebuilds over time, and you are able to top up the miner health at any time so it runs at 100%. It is somewhat like helium halving, however you still have the opportunity to mine at 100%. Personally it does not bother me as much as it should do, as my plan is to cash out when the coin reaches a certain price target, and then top up the miner health during a bear market. The concept supports the ecosystem to grow, as more and more MXC is locked creating less supply. With less supply and more demand for a token, the token value usually shoots up in price. So what is my conclusion? Personally I diversify my mining and crypto portfolio, so a source of income is not highly dependent on one project. This is important because investing everything into one income stream is very risky. The rough ROI is approximately 7 to 10 months, based on the price of MXC at the time of this video. So if you are a short term trader, it might not be worth your while. However, if you do believe in the future of IoT and networks that will fuel its development and infrastructure, this is a project to look out for. This again is not investment advice, it is more to shine the light on the pros and doubts of the project. If you found this video useful, please do give it a thumbs up, do subscribe and keep those notification bells on. Thank you all for watching, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.